In part 1 of this video, we began looking at rectangles, where we change the size of the rectangle. This problem, we do that again. We have a small rectangle that is increased to give us a bigger rectangle. The length of the original rectangle is 9 feet longer than it is wide. So if we have x for the width, the length being 9 feet longer would be x plus 9. Then, each side of the rectangle is increased by 9 feet. So the width, which was x, is now x plus 9. The length, which was x plus 9, is now plus another 9, giving us x plus 18. When we do this, the area is multiplied by 3. We recall that we multiply the small rectangle by the large one in order to get... I'm sorry, we multiply the small rectangle by 3 in order to get the larger rectangle. So let's look at the area of that smaller rectangle, x times x plus 9. When that area is multiplied by 3, it becomes bigger, equal to the bigger rectangle, x plus 9 times x plus 18. In order to make this into a form we can solve, let's multiply it out. Distributing the 3x through, we get 3x squared plus 27x equals... Foiling out the right side, we get x squared plus 18x plus 9x plus 9 times 18, which is 162. Combining like terms on the left side, we have 3x squared plus 27x equals x squared plus 27x plus 162. From here, we can solve by either using the quadratic formula, completing the square, or factoring. First, though, let's make the equation equal to 0 to give us a better idea of what we're working with. Because the x squared is larger on the left side, let's move everything to the left, keeping the x squared positive. We'll subtract x squared, subtract 27x, and subtract 162 from both sides. When we do, we end up with 2x squared minus 162 equals 0. As we try and factor this expression, we'll start with the GCF of 2, giving us x squared minus 81 equals 0. x squared minus 81 is easily factored to the difference of squares x plus 9, x minus 9 equals 0. We can now set each factor equal to 0, and x plus 9 equals 0. or x minus 9 equals 0. We can quickly solve by subtracting 9 to get x equals negative 9, or adding 9 to get x equals positive 9. Clearly, it wouldn't make sense to have a negative dimension on a rectangle. But x equals 9 would work for our original dimension. The other side, x plus 9, or 9 plus 9 is 18 we have a 9 foot by 18 foot rectangle. That when each side is increased by 9 feet, the area is multiplied by 3. By drawing two rectangles and showing the differences in their size, we multiply the small one by the 3 to equal the large one to get an equation we can solve.